Well, Joe's a terrific player, and uh, certainly have experienced that watching him and competing against him for four years. Uh, losing Hunter Tyson and Brevin Galloway last year, we thought we were really losing some three-point shooting. And uh, to give, really to create a little more space for these two guys, Chase and PJ. Chase, in terms of, of penetration, pick and roll game, and, and uh, PJ in the paint, we just felt like having more shooting would be really good for us. Joe's a guy that's going to be able to stretch defenses, but I also think he's a tremendous leader. And uh, he's a guy that uh, is extremely competitive. So it's always good to add guys like that to your locker room. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I'm really excited to get out there and play with all these high level guys. Uh, Joe is somebody who has, I've competed against for the last three years and, you know, watching him and playing against him. Um, it's funny, you, you read the scout every time you're about to play somebody. It gets to a point where you really don't need the scout for guys like that. You know what they do. But when you come to be teammates with him, it's, you see stuff in this game that you don't know, normally see all the time. Um, he's a tremendous playmaker. Uh, that's what a lot of people don't realize. He's not just some run off the screen shooter or knock down three point shooter. He, uh, he can really create for other guys, whether that's space in the floor, passing the rock around, and uh, creating for others. That's something that's a very underrated attribute about him. Does he know how to play man-to-man -man defense? He does. He does. He can play a little bit. Not against me, but, uh, yeah, he can play a little bit. 